Mr. Govan has been indicted and is in custody for being involved in the Young Dolph murder. Um, he played the role of the person who solicited for me. What's good, Rizzle fam? The feds are getting involved in Young Dolph's case. And it looks like Dolph's alleged killer might have some dirt on the good old suspect, Yo Gotti. The case of Young Dolph's is still unresolved. We don't have the people who did the crime serving their sentence, but we might just see it happen. In any case, the real question that everyone is asking is, how was Yo Gotti involved? Their beef never stopped until the very day that Dolph passed. The previous attempts on Dolph's life have already been tied to Gotti's neck. Everyone's waiting to see if Gotti's got something to do with what happened two years ago, and if any of the people that have been arrested are willing to snitch on Gotti in order to get out. Let's take it back for a second in order to get some context on why people think Gotti might be connected to this. Young Dolph, the legendary Memphis rapper, was gunned down by two guys back on November 17th, 2021. He was visiting Makita's homemade butter cookies, and that's when he got intercepted by two gunmen. They hopped out of the white Mercedes Benz and shot young Dolph 22 times. Dolph didn't make it, and he lost his life on that terrible day. Dolph's legacy continues to live on, and it will for years to come. He was one of the very few rappers who reached staggering distances music-wise, and remained an independent artist the entire time. However, not everyone liked the fact that Dolph tended to his matters alone, without any other parties getting involved. One such guy was Yo Gotti. Gotti wanted Dolph signed to his record label since day one, but he just couldn't get Dolph to sign. Not even a multi-million dollar deal could persuade Dolph to change his mind. That meant trouble between these two. Gotti's monopoly and strong influence in the hip-hop scene of Memphis were challenged by the arguably more talented rapper and someone with great potential. Probably the peak of their beef was the night Dolph's SUV got targeted with more than 100 shots, and that's when Dolph created his hit track 100 Shots, which skyrocketed his fame even outside of Memphis and the States. Even though Gotti wasn't involved in the incident, one of the guys who was was Gotti's artist, Black Young. He was one of the two guys who got arrested for the incident. But with some help from good lawyers, the charges against him were dropped. But in November of 2021, there was no bulletproof SUV to protect Dolph from the gunfire. Similar to the Black Youngster incident from a few years back, all fingers were pointing to Yo Gotti again. And everyone knew that he had a motive to do it, especially given all the circumstances involved. For a couple of months, things went quiet as the police were figuring out all the details of the incident. But in January 2022, we got to see some developments. One of the three guys who were the suspects was a 23 year old dude called Justin Johnson, aka Straight Drop. Straight Drop is also a rapper, and he already had a history of criminal charges. Plus, the police already knew he had ties to a criminal organization, the Trula Mafia, to be more precise. He was a menace, and they knew very well that he was somehow involved. Then came the arrest of Cornelius Smith, a 32 year old who was arrested for the theft of a car that was used in Dolph's murder. Another dude that was with Straight Drop was also arrested, a guy who goes by the name of Shundell Barnett. Turns out, Shundell was an accomplice in the crime, and Straight Drop and Cornelius were the ones behind the hit. There is some evidence pointing to the fact that Shundell was in fact connected to this hit. Back in 2017, he could be seen in a video with Black Youngster. But there are yet another two guys that have been arrested, and they are the last two in line who have been tied to the Dolph hit. Their names are Hernandez Govon and Jamarcus Johnson. After the police arrested Hernandez, the feds started getting more and more involved. The district attorney made a case of a so-called solicited murder. In other words, someone paid for the hit. Steve Mulroy said to the WREG News Channel, Mr. Govan has been indicted and is in custody for being involved in the Young Dolph murder. Um, he played the role of the person who solicited the murder. Jamarcus was arrested because the police believed that he was aiding Straight Drop after the arrest took place. The fact that someone is hiring people to get other people knocked off reached the feds. Some serious crime was taking place, and it was about time for someone to step in and take care of this mess. Even though a lot of folks have been talking for a minute already and said that the feds will come to Memphis, now it really seems like it's bound to happen. Ricos are coming, and they better get ready. Now, is it really true that Govan was the one behind the hit on Young Dolph? We can't say for sure. Perhaps he was only paying Straight Drop and others, but was it his money for real? Some believe that money came in through none other than Big Juke, Yo Gotti's brother, or Yo Gotti himself. Why though? Well, there's a lot of reasons out there to believe that there are hella involved in this case. There are countless photos of Govan and Big Juke kicking it together, and it's a known fact that Big Juke is on good terms with the leader of the Trula Mafia, CEO Teasy. It's rather obvious that Yo Gotti and Big Juke had something against Young Dolph. 
unlike Hernandez Govan. That's why the fans and a lot of Memphis folks believe that Hernandez is really the one behind the hit. The Fed stepping in this case, it's all hands on deck. Everyone knows that when the Feds get involved, there's very little chance that you get by without getting punished. Next question you gotta ask yourself is whether or not the guys who are involved are gonna keep their mouths shut when the Rico comes in. Just like the YSL boys, they'll get arrested and they'll be asked to testify. Before you know it, plea offers are gonna be coming in and we already know how that old appealing process can be. When push comes to shove, most people talk and we might just find out how Yo Gotti and his brother are involved and if they are how much money was put on Dolph's head. Fans online seem to be excited about the fact that the feds are slowly stepping in. They do believe that this will bring us step closer to finding out the true story behind the hit on Dolph. One fan wrote, glad to see justice being served for the young Dolph case. Thankful something's being done. But what's y'all's take on the guy who was arrested in the young Dolph case? You think they were the ones who wanted Dolph gone or were they just doing the dirty business with Yo Gotti, Big Juke and the Trula gang? And what are the chances that the boys snitch if a Rico comes their way. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching to the end. Stay tuned for more interesting hip-hop content. Click that like and subscribe button. And as always, remember to keep it real.